What's up, everybody? Viper here, back in Miss Survival, and uh, today I'm gonna do a try to do a short build video and uh, go over how I place stuff down on uh, the ground to make it kind of look like it's uh, lived in. Um, there's not really a a special way I do it. It's uh, when you place something down, it's always it's always going to go down at a certain an angle. Like, no matter where I put this, uh, like, this component, it's going to come out the same. No matter where I put it. Up here. It's always going to be the same angle. And if you want something to be a little bit different off of that angle, you're going to have to kind of bounce it off of something. And that can be a pain if you're trying to get something in exactly the, the spot you want it, but... So normally, I'll just put it down and wherever it lays, that's how I have it. And if you wanted to get in exactly the right spot, uh, focus your uh, vision straight down and uh, just drop it and it'll go right where your cursor is. And if you want to kind of bounce it or uh, throw it a little bit away, then uh, aim a little bit above. And it'll kind of throw it and bounce it. And that's how all this stuff's here. I just basically dropped it until it uh, it landed in a place. And like these uh, boxes, I just take them and then split them into one little stacks. I dropped one, then go over a little bit, drop another one, and then try to center it. And then drop another one and it kind of stack them up. And these the sticks will go a certain way. These uh, wood will drop a certain way. If you look at this stack of wood, it's placed pretty much the same as this other stack. You'll have a little, a few that are off because they'll have hit something and bounce a certain way. Where's my little arms room? And then, like, over here, this M4 will always land going to the right. So no matter what I do, if I want to try to put it over here, it's still going to go facing to the right. And if I just put it straight down, it's just going to fall and it's going to be standing on top and it kind of looks stupid. So I have it a little bit away and where it will actually fall. So like this broken shotgun was able to, it lines up and it'll fall to this face into the right on this one. But I couldn't put any other weapons over here. I probably could have put pistols over on this side, but uh, it fell there and I lost a revolver under there and I wasn't going to go pick it up. But you just have to drop whatever you want to use for your, uh, uh, to make it look like it's lived in and see which way it drops and uh, just kind of play with it I don't normally do this unless I'm like making a video anyway um, and this meat still here that's surprising kind of hungry oh. go ahead and eat that for waste And then all the stuff that I got placed down is usually like stacks of one. Um, they're not like full stacks of anything because I just don't don't need all that. Same with the water. It's uh, And the sugar it just took me a little bit of time to actually be able to place this stuff down. And then sometimes you'll get it right, and sometimes you'll have to move it. Um, but it's, it don't have to be perfect, because, I mean, who, who really cares? Uh, those boxes weren't that hard. It's like those other ones I showed you. And, I mean, that's pretty much it, how I put stuff down. It just, you gotta, you gotta drop it down and see where it falls and how it lands, and just kind of mess with it so you get it the way and looking the way you want it to do. 
for me when I build these uh, long structures, like uh, all of these cabins take uh, 72 hours, 96 hours, 96 hours. The walls ain't so bad. They're only like two hours, hour and a half, three hours. This one's 10 hours. But when I do it, I'll, I'll build me a nice safe area where I don't have to worry about the infected. And I'll just build the cabin uh, in like one sitting. So I don't waste a whole bunch of food and uh, time, really. But I'm going to go over to uh, the White House where I got some materials already farmed up. And I'll show you exactly how I can build without worrying about the infected. This area is glitched, so... Um, it's not going to be a good uh, show about how to build. Because you could build here all day long and the infected won't do anything to you. But if I go out to uh, go out to my little cabins over here, I had to uh, worry about the infected hit me. So I kind of just... Uh, I built this cabin first and then I ended up building some of these fences around it so I had this little work area. And if you notice I have some fences underneath this cabin that I can't uh, demolish. Same with over here because I had a nice big fenced off area that I can't remember exactly where it was. It was probably right over here to uh, the side of this cabin. It was just fenced off completely. And then I just built the uh, cabin uh, straight off of the fence. But if you don't want to build these fences, there's another thing you can do where you can just use uh, stuff you got laying around like your uh, drying racks and your tanning racks or even your barrels. Uh, you can use furniture these uh, workstations, workbenches, they'll work as well. Anything that you can't walk through. Like you can see I can walk through this tanning rack right now. But I have one at the White House that has a, uh, uh, a hide in it. And with the hide in, you can't walk through it. So I can use that to uh, keep me safe from the infected. So let me go ahead and get over there and show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, I'm back over at the White House, and let's go ahead and get a cabin started. Just gonna go ahead and go with the the big one, and I'm just gonna put it right here. I'll end up uh, probably loading the save after I get this part done, so I don't have to use up all these uh, materials, because uh, I'm gonna need them when I go over the walls. But when I get a, a building, one of these uh, big cabins, you can walk freely through it, right? Right now. But the minute you start building, so I'm going to start building and I'm going to cancel this. Now I can walk through, I can't walk through this part, right? So this part I can't walk through. I can walk through everything else over here so the infected can come get me. So I'm going to take, uh, you can take your vehicle, uh, if you have one. Oops. Try not to hit the wall or nothing. And I'm just going to put it, I don't want to put it inside it. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, I might need to pack that up a little bit. Am I pushing this truck? That's weird. I didn't realize you could push these vehicles. No, it's not pushing it now. Oh, let me move this truck. Let me not use this truck. The game's been kind of iffy with uh, using vehicles. And I don't really want it to go flying end over end. So I'm just going to use these. Alright, I'm going to use this drying rack because it's got a bunch of food on it. If 
I can get it up and move it. And then I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to grab this draw, uh, tanning rack. And I can't walk through it, so the infected won't be able to walk through it either. But I can still jump over these. So let me grab this other drying rack. But you could use barrels or whatever you have. It doesn't have to be these. And then just make sure you can't walk through it. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, start building. But before you do, make sure I make sure that I have enough uh, water, a lot of water. Not really too much worried about food. I'm probably going to need some. And then I want to have as much of the materials that I can uh, build with, especially through the night. So I'll start building and I'll just watch the time and then when it's about you know 19 20 hundred I'll go out and grab as many logs as I can fit in my inventory let me go ahead and turn this light on too Alright, that should be good. I'm going to go over here and grab some of these logs. But I want as much uh, materials as I can uh, to last me through the night. And I'm not going to worry about sleeping until this is actually constructed. And I'm just going to keep on building and I'll watch my... Uh, my thirst bar because when my thirst bar is empty I'm gonna go ahead and drink I'm not gonna bother eating until my health is about I don't know about halfway down and hopefully we'll see some the infected come by tonight which it's already two and I don't hear any of them at all so I'm dehydrated I'm gonna go ahead and stop I didn't mean to drink a little just gonna go ahead and fill up my uh, thirst meter and then continue building. And then when the daytime comes around, I'm gonna stop again and go ahead and uh, keep getting logs until I finish up that log part. So the night zombies are infected actually spawned in. There's a couple of them there, but they didn't bother me over there. So back to building. I'm just going to keep building using my logs. I'm starting to starve now, but I'm not really worried about it. It's going to slowly start eating up my health, but I'm not really too concerned about it right now. The mist will come in and just go through and you don't have to worry about them. See, because they're out there having fun over there. There's two there. But I'm going to continue building. Oh, there they go. Someone came around. That actually scared the crap out of me. But So this little dude's somewhere around. He's right there. So let's go ahead. And he just runs around and doesn't bother you. And then the mist is gone, and I'm going to keep... I need a drink. 
I will drink, but I'm not going to eat anytime soon. So you can save food when you're actually doing this. Now, before dark, I want to go... Actually, I'll go now. Use up a couple of these uh, logs before uh, dinner time. kind of want to be careful with your stamina when you're running back and forth to get stuff because you're not going to be able to uh, increase your stamina back up because your fatigue is all the way down when you're building these. You can use like uh, for short builds you can use lockers and get on top of a locker and I've been safe every time doing it, but I'm afraid they're going to one day be able to break that locker and get to me, so I try not to use that. I'd rather use this method over a locker, especially for these 96-hour builds. Alright, so time to drink. Make sure you do have a lot of water, because you're going to be wasting a lot of water doing this. And now we're safe in the daytime. I'm going to go grab some more of these logs. Yep, that's all of them. I'm glad Scott's been cutting down trees for me because I'd hate to have to cut down all these trees for this. water. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get one of these lockers. That one has a bunch of stuff in it. So does that one. And just show you what I'm talking about by using the lockers to build. I definitely want to use an empty one just in case that then I actually can actually break it. So I'm just going to put it right here. And then I'm going to start building. Alright, the miss is here. Any infected? Yep, there's one on top of the thing going after Scott. Alright, so he's like right below me, and he didn't do anything to me. And now he's over there. So we got another one just sitting here. So I'm just going to continue building. I have been hit up here once or twice before, but... That's mainly why I do like to use the uh, uh, that method where I actually block myself off. Because I just don't want to take a chance, especially if I don't have stamina. It would uh, be a little bit too hard to run. And especially with the night zombies, or the night infected, I don't, I don't even want to take a chance. Having to deal with a big group of them in the middle of the night would be a, a death sentence. Alright, so I need to drink some more water. No, oh, sounds like... Oh, I heard somebody. 
the little clicky noises. So they're out there somewhere, but I'm I'm completely safe in here. So now I got about halfway through this build. And we have not eat, eaten anything yet. Whoa. I just took a big old smack. Okay, my hunger is really low, so I'm going to have to eat. And I'm self-healing, luckily. Let's go ahead and eat some of this. No, eat, not take. I was a little bit too close to this back thing. As long as my health don't go any farther low, I'm, I should be all right. I'm gonna drink some more. But if you can manage not to get beat up like I did, then you shouldn't have to eat but maybe one or two little sticks of meat just to tide you over. Uh, until you actually finish building it. And you can hear them clicking around. Well, that's a dark mist. That miss seemed to last quite a while. Ooh. My hunger was empty, so I'm losing too much health. I wasn't paying attention. As long as you're watching your hunger or your health bar to make sure you're not losing too much uh, health. Because you can die doing this if you're not by die by starvation if you're not careful. And then once I finish all these long builds, I'll go ahead and sleep until. Uh, you know, my fatigue is back up whenever I need to uh, be able to actually do something. I might, I might end up sleeping a whole day just to raise my fatigue level back up. Uh, we got 13 hours, so that'll be in the afternoon sometime. And I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, sleep tonight or, or just end up reloading the save when we go on to the uh, building the walls. Kind of missed again. Not even gonna bother to eat because uh, my health is back up there. And three more hours. And 30 minutes and we are done. All right, so 96 hour build time. And let me get up here so I'm safe in this 
watchtower. All right, so that was 90. What did I just do that for? That was 96 hours building that cabin, and we used like five liters of water for that 96 hour time. And then uh, about 25% of my hammer. And it actually did use all my uh, planks and sticks the right amount this time. Some things you build will, will actually use less stuff for it than when you actually, uh, what it says. So you kind of get a discount for some certain things. Okay, so that was 96 hours of building and Luckily, I didn't die. I uh, came close to it. So you may want to build this a little bit uh, wider. So you have a little bit more of an area to, that's protected from the uh, infected. Probably if I would have just put this uh, drying rack a little bit farther out, I think I probably would have been a lot more safer. But I always say before I even start these uh, long builds, just in case something bad like that happens. Alright, I was planning on doing both the walls and the cabin today. But this video is already getting pretty, pretty long already. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the walls tomorrow. In a separate video. But I hope this helps when you uh, decide, or if you decide to build any of these cabins where you can protect yourself and actually get it done without uh, wasting a whole bunch of time or or food really but thanks for watching and I will catch y'all later